General, it's great to have you here. Thanks, it's great to be here. Um, can I start off with asking why you are here and how you believe the International Fighter Conference is going to help you and your needs for the next year? Well, uh, it's a tremendous honor to be here. Uh, Sir Stephen Dalton's a friend of mine. I've known him for a long time and he invited me. Um, I think the most important part is, and it's what I kind of opened my presentation with, we're all in this together. Uh, this is a group of folks we are going to do coalition warfare, coalition air power in the future. So our understanding, our interoperability, our Opportunities to have dialogues at this level are incredibly important for the United States and every other nation uh, that is represented here. So I think it's an opportunity to really get an understanding. Um, you know, the famous quote is, where you stand is often determined by where you sit. The more you understand where other folks are coming from, their limitations, their goals and objectives, and what they're trying to do, clearly that's going to make the entire uh, capability better because you have a better understanding and you'll be able to operate more easily and, and significantly better together. As it pertains to fighter aircraft specifically, um, what's the priority for the U.S. Air Force uh, for the foreseeable? Uh, well, uh, obviously, with respect to where I sit in, in my position in the core functions I represent for the United States Air Force, um, the things that we need to do is air superiority, is we need to continue to do that. We need to dominate air. Uh, we need to be able to hold targets at risk from the air. Uh, we need to be able to surveil and have good understanding of the environment we're operating in, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. And then we need to be able to command and control theater air power. So those are the things that as we move forward, air superiority, holding targets at risk, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and then command and control at a theater level air power are the things we're really working on as we move into the future in a more challenging environment. Uh, it's often talked about the anti-access area denial environment, but just suffice it to say is the environment gets more and more contested and more and more challenging and our ability to do those things is incredibly important. In that sense because you have such a scope of uh, things to consider and fighter aircraft are of course becoming much more multi-role uh, in, their, in their approach, what do you see as perhaps being the biggest challenges for you? Um, I think, uh, you know, we, we've talked about it. I think uh, potential adversaries out there see what we do and we own airspace and so they're going to try to deny that, so they're going to continue to try to deny the capabilities that we demonstrate. So our ability to continue to evolve and get better, our ability to spiral technology into our systems is going to be incredibly important as we move forward because we know that potential adversaries out there are going to continue to challenge us and work hard to try to deny us uh, air superiority and air dominance. Uh, so we have to stay ahead of them and continue to work it. Uh, within that, I think, and I kind of mentioned it, I think the, the coin of the realm of the future is going to be that ability to, to get as much information as you can, pass it real time from the leading tactical edge all the way back to the command and control element, and how do you take advantage of that ability from agil agility and flexibility to stay inside your adversary's decision cycle so you know more sooner than he does and you can react faster than he can in, uh, in the environments that you're operating in. And of course the F-35 met IOC in August. Yes. Um, and I believe you're happy with uh, the progress, with the platform itself. Um, how will it uh, meet those ends that you've just mentioned? Well, it's a fantastic airplane, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer it's, it's, doing, it's doing great work. It continues to impress me as it continues and uh, getting better and better, and the young men and women flying it are fantastic. And as you can imagine, when you give it to those, uh, those young folks, they make it even better than you thought possible. So I think the key is that that information piece and the F-35 with the sensor suite we have, uh, with the, the uh, software definable capability within the airplane makes it one that, that it, it is, uh, you know, as, a, as Trey Rawls from the JPO said, it's the quarterback. It makes every other airplane better because it has so, such good sensor suite and has such good information and its ability to pass information to other platforms. Uh, and again, it's part of that staying inside the adversary's decision cycle so we know more sooner than the adversary does and we can react faster. So the F-35 is the leading edge of that right now and we'll continue to try to grow on that. And this morning it was also referred to possibly as the glue that could hold together NATO partners and allies. What do you project as being the activity for allies and partners uh, in the coming years? Well, I'm, uh, so I'm a, I'm a huge believer in the value of this alliance. I think the NATO alliance is so incredibly important to the entire world. 
Uh, it's important to the United States, important to our NATO partners, but I think it's a, it's a benchmark for the world, the alliance that exists here. So the ability to strengthen it, the ability for interoperability, uh, going back to where you stand, it's driven by where you sit. When you're flying the same platforms, it makes all of that much easier. Uh, so I think it's going to continue to evolve. I think the F-35 is going to be a mainstay in the NATO alliance, as well as our partnerships throughout the world, and it'll continue to grow that capability as we go into the future. Yes, General, again, absolute honor to have you here. Well, thank thank you. you very much. Honor's been all mine. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.